Hey guys, today I wanted to do something a little bit different and look at the question of how rare is a Hellcat? Based on some of the data I found, I thought it would make for an interesting video. To answer that question, we'll go over the production numbers and whatever I could find on how many Hellcat models were made for both the Charger and Challenger. Each year we will go over the global production numbers and how many were made for each color, and some years there was additional information on other things, like transmissions and other options. I've tried to include the most interesting and relevant things. I have done a video like this before with the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon, where I went really in depth on all the production and the options available for that car, so click the top right corner if you're interested in seeing that video. Today's video will be for the Challenger Hellcat, and then the next one I do will be for the Charger Hellcat. So if you do have a Hellcat, you can see how rare yours is and how many were built in your year, your color, and all that. If you don't have a Hellcat, like myself, then maybe you'll just find it interesting to see the production numbers and how many were made. I'll go year by year starting in 2015 when the Hellcat twins were introduced, and we'll go up until 2019. I'll also post a lot of graphs after I'm finished talking so you can see the visuals on screen. And of course you can pause the video if you do want to see the graphs a little bit longer. Also, please note that for the percentages I just calculated to the nearest digit, so some might be a percentage off due to the rounding. So first up is the 2015 Challenger Hellcat, where we have the numbers for global production, paint colors, transmissions, roof and hood choices, and the production by province for Canada. So starting with the global production, there were a total of 7,168 ordered across the world. 87% of the Hellcats went to the US, 6.8% went to Canada, just 80 of them went to Mexico, and the remaining 358 were exported to different locations worldwide. 2015 saw the Hellcats outfitted in 11 different paint colors. The most popular color was Sublime, with 1,327 of those, or 18.5% and Black Clear was also very popular with 1,190 ordered, which is 16.6%. Rounding out the top three was Phantom Black with 15.9% of the Hellcats, which equals to 1,139. To finish up the top five, Toe Red and Redline Red both had over 500 orders. Bright White had 475, Granite Crystal had 418, B5 Blue and Ivory Tricoat had 317, and then Billet Silver was next with just 300 ordered. The least popular color by far was Jazz Blue, as only 243 chose that color for their Hellcat, which is just 3.6%. Looking at the transmissions, there was a pretty even split between the 8-speed automatic and the 6-speed manual, with 52.3% going for the auto and 47.7% choosing the manual. If we look at the roof, almost all of the Hellcats had the regular hardtop, 7,028 of them, with just 140 coming with the sunroof for this year. Now onto the hood, a satin black hood was an option that 1,099 people, or 15.3% of the Hellcats, came with. The rest just had the standard Hellcat hood. Another interesting choice was brass monkey wheels, 59 with the black satin hood, and the other 979 with the standard hood. Now the final stats of 2015 are for the Canadian Hellcats. As you can see, the three most popular provinces were Ontario, Alberta, and Manitoba, and the least popular was Prince Edward Island, who got just two Hellcats. And also here's another one showing the transmission and colors on the same graph. Now let's move on to 2016, where we have numbers for global production, paint colors, transmissions, stripes, and hood. There were a lot more Hellcats produced in 2016, up to 11,995. Again, most of them went to the United States, 88.1%, and Canada got 7.7%. Mexico got 197 cars, and 304 were exported out. 2016 saw 12 paint colors this time around, just one more than 2015. The most popular for the year was Pitch Black, with 3,286, which is 27.4%, so over 1 in 4 Hellcats for 2016 was a Pitch Black. Plum Crazy was also really popular with 10.7%, which is 1,286 Hellcats. Bright White was another common color, with 1,103 cars, which is good for 9.2%. Go Mango and Redline Red were number 4 and number 5 on the list, both with just over 1,000 cars. Toe Red had 916, then there was Granite Crystal, B5 Blue, and Ivory White. The least three popular colors were Billet Silver with 469, Jazz Blue with 332, and Maximum Steel at the very bottom with just 184 cars ordered, or 1.6%. So that's going to be your rarest color for 2016.
As for the transmissions, 67.1% of owners went with an automatic this year, and there were just 32.9% with manuals. Quite a big difference from 2015, where it was more evenly split. The dual carbon racing stripes were an option, but not a very popular one as only 1,921 Hellcats had them, which is around 16%. The same goes for the satin black hood, which was found on 3,086 cars, which was 25.7%. And here's the transmission and colors on the same graph again. Shifting gears to 2017, here we have the global production, paint colors, and paint colors by country. 2017 saw a major dip in Hellcat production, down to just 2,976 worldwide. 83.2% of those went to the US, and 14.4% were sent to Canada. Just 50 Hellcats went to Mexico, and only 22 were exported. So overall, 2017 is the rarest year yet. This year there were 13 different paint colors available, and the most common one is yet again pitch black, with 640, which is good for 21.5%. New color Destroyer Grey was next, with 365 Hellcats, or 12.3%. Another new color was Yellow Jacket, and that was also popular, with 11.9% of Hellcats using that paint, which is 355 cars. After that we have White Knuckle, and Go Mango to finish out the top 5 most popular colors. Another new color was Green Go, which was on 7% or 209 Hellcats. Then we've got Octane Red with 204, Red Line Red with 129, Granite Crystal with 120, Tor Red with just 109, and the new color Contusion Blue with 94. At the bottom, again we have Billet Silver with only 84 Hellcats, and a Maximum Steel was the least popular, aka the rarest color, ordered on just 1.4% of Hellcats, which turns out to be just 41 for 2017. Here's another chart showing which countries got all the various paint colors. The US numbers pretty well line up with the overall ones, but Canada got a lot of Green Go, Go Mango, and Tor Red compared to the total amount of Hellcats they received. Mexico also got a bunch of Go Mangos, as 20 out of the 50 they received were in that color. And the exported versions were in all types of colors, but there were no Red Line Red or Green Go shipped out. For 2018, we have a bunch of information, like the global production, wide body versus regular production, the paint colors, transmission choices, different countries, and Hellcats per state. So 2018 saw production split into two body styles, the regular version and the wide body, which we'll get into in a second. There were a total of 3,651 Hellcats for the year, the majority in the US again, with 81.7%. Canada got just 266 this year, and Mexico was down to 114. The remaining 287 Hellcats, or 7.9%, were exported. For the regular bodies, there was 1,775, and the wide body was slightly more popular with 1,876, for a total, as I said, of 3,651 Hellcats for the year. 2018 had a ton of paint options, 15 different colors, which is the most so far for any year. Once again, we have Pitch Black on top, with 988 in total, which is 27.1%. Again, we see Destroyer Grey is second most popular, with 465 Hellcats, or 12.7%. And Octane Red was surprisingly third, with 442 cars, which is 12.1%. Then we have White Knuckle with 434, Tor Red with 260, and Go Mango with 211. I'll now display the rest of the colors on screen. The three least popular colors were Billet Silver on 76 Hellcats, Maximum Steel with 47, and the hardest color to find for 2018 would be Redline Red, which is on just 24 Hellcats, which is just 0.7%. If we take a look at the production numbers per export, as always we can see most are going to the US, Canada got 117 regular bodies and 149 wide bodies. Mexico really got shorted out on wide bodies, getting just 9 of them, and 7 of them happened to be in billet silver. The exported models were also mainly regular bodies, with just 59 wide bodies being exported, compared to 228 regular bodies. The transmission trend continues as 3,029 Hellcats were in automatic, which is 83% and the remaining 17% were manual, so buyers are definitely shifting towards the automatics more and more. Here's also a chart showing the transmission choices by country. 
Interestingly, there are only two six-speed manuals exported, and just one for Mexico, so that's quite a rare option outside of the US and Canada. Here's another chart showing some information according to the state that the Hellcats were delivered in. I'll leave that on screen for a bit so you can have a better look, or you can always pause the video as well. Do note that these numbers were not 100% accurate since they did not add up to the correct totals as the other charts, so it's definitely slightly off, but I thought it would be cool to show the variety across the states in at least one graph for this video, so the American viewers can get a good idea of how these Hellcats are distributed. The six states that received the most Hellcats were California, Florida, Michigan, Texas, New York, and Arizona, while the five states that got the least amount were Delaware, South Dakota, Maine, Rhode Island, and then Vermont, who only got three of the cars. Finally, we reached 2019. Unfortunately, I couldn't find as much information for this year as there was for the previous four years, but we do have the global production, how many models each country received, and some colors for the Hellcat Red Eye. I'll also do a big summary for all the models so far from 2015 to now. So 2019 had a big spike in production, up to 6,452 worldwide. 86% went to the US, 5.6% to Canada, 3.3% to Mexico, and the remaining 333 Hellcats got exported. As for the models, this time around there were four variations, a Hellcat and Hellcat Widebody, and a Hellcat Red Eye and Hellcat Red Eye Widebody. There were actually a lot more Red Eyes made than the regular version, and the regular Widebody was the least popular, with just 770 produced. The Red Eyes were very hard to find outside of North America though, with just 72 cars leaving to go to Mexico or to get exported. Here's a chart showing the color breakdown for the 2092 Red Eye non-Widebody versions for 2019. This was the only color chart that seemed to be available right now, maybe because 2019 has just finished. The top three colors are Pitch Black, Destroyer Grey, and White Knuckle, while the bottom three are Sublime, Yellow Jacket, and then Billet Silver, with just one car. New color Triple Nickel was also rare, with just 29 for the US, and 3 for Canada. So now let's do a quick summary of everything. Here we can see that over the five model years, from 2015 to 2019, there were a total of 32,242 Hellcat Challengers produced with 4,498 of those being a widebody version. 2016 had the most produced, while 2017 had the fewest. The US got over 27,000, Canada has 2,464 within their borders, Mexico has just 654, and then 1,304 were distributed worldwide. Here's a recap of all the colors from 2015 to 2018. I didn't include 2019 because we didn't have the complete data. So the left side shows how many years that that color was offered, the middle shows the percentage of all the Hellcats that have that color, and the right shows the total number with that color. So we can see that red and black are quite popular, especially pitch black, and the greens and blues are pretty hard to come by down at the bottom, with the rarest Hellcat color being contusion blue, with less than 100 in existence. So that's the end of this video guys, hopefully you enjoyed it and found it interesting to go through these numbers. It's definitely a lot of information, but I tried to display it in a way that was easier to follow. What do you guys think? Are you surprised by what you saw? And do you guys own any Hellcats? And who's got the Contusion Blues? Let me know down in the comments section below. Also I can make the Charger version of this video if you guys are interested. Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.